up everybody? We are here yeah. at WOW. We are Oceania headquarters right here. Well, now we're at We Are Oceania Empowerment Youth Center. The address is 555 North King Street, Honolulu, Hawaii 96817. Mwani mamito, ate Rofeiro, ite Jocelyn Jos Howard, ngang fin Rook, ngang fin Onon, lan naman wete ato. So, um, I went to Savior High School, graduated in 1988, um, and then I went on to the Community College of Micronesia. Uh, I spent one year there and I transferred to the University of Hawaii at Hilo. Yes, and um, from the University of Hawaii at Hilo, I graduated and kind of moved into the community and started to work with uh, like different departments or different organizations so I did work with the Department of Education. I also work with uh, nonprofits that work with people with uh, developmental like delay and then I work with Goodwill where we help people remove barriers of employment and I went back to school decided that I wanted to go back to school. Uh, my work at Goodwill uh, allowed me to get more involved like in policies and understanding what was impacting people on the ground and also realizing that the way people were helping Micronesians in Hawaii kind of like was not, I feel like it was not fully understood and that's part of why I wanted to go back to school to build my capacity so that I can come back and um, influence, you know, like policymakers or be able to have a voice. I think that was the most important thing I realized. And um, so I, I came out and it was just at a right time when uh, there was this opportunity to build the One Stop Center. And the One Stop idea came actually from the community about 10 years prior to you know my graduating from uh, college with my master's in social work. And so when I, um, Two months after I came out, I was asked to, you know, like help come up with, you know, like the concept of a one-stop. So it was my work at Goodwill that helped me uh, understood what the need was and also understood what would be the response or intervention for that need. And so that's what I put into like a concept paper of uh, what a one-stop center should look like. And uh, luckily they liked the idea. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, that that's what brought me to be able to do the work uh, but in doing that I couldn't do it by myself so I had to like you know I had friends and colleagues at that time that were also doing the same kind of work and one of them is our you know beloved uh, Dr. Jojo Peter or Joachim Jojo Peter um, he was one of the co-founder of We Are Oceania uh, Dr. Uh, Fidelino Retiar and my good friend Emma Reimers, now Kurasike, from the Marshall Islands. We were able to get a grant, small grant, to start up this whole idea or this whole concept uh, under the mentorship of a local organization called Partners in Development Foundation. Mm -hmm. So their role was to mentor us and especially me because I was the first one or I was the one who was chosen to carry out the work and uh, or I guess the, I, I call it stupid enough to take on that task because it wasn't easy uh, but I believe in it you know I believe in the in the model that I I saw at Goodwill and I implemented at Goodwill so um, it was time for us to name the organization right so we we define our no before we even define our mission our mission statement, we kind of, I kind of like knew that it has to do with helping Micronesians navigate success. And um, so when we were sharing information among the four of us, uh, it was Fitalino, Dr. Radior, that came up with the naming, uh, We Are Oceania. And I saw that and I studied, um, you know, I studied Epeli Haofa in my uh, undergrad and I love his perspective and I love his you know indigenous knowledge in bringing it into academia and I thought that was just perfect because that's um, the framework we were using and it, when I look at the work of or like the work that we're setting out it's really to navigate success right so it's it's our navigation navigational framework and how we look at the ocean and how uh, it, it our ocean come like 
bring us together, binds us together instead of like separating us. And it's also empowering. It um, it's abundant it, with all different kinds of like you know resources. It brings us two resources. So from that, I, I we were all agreeing along with the naming. We are Oceania. So we're like, what? How about like honoring the culture, the host culture? So we uh, we work with the Native Hawaiians who were at. Partners in Development Foundation, they gave us a name, it's called Halao Ola, meaning the house of life. Okay, so officially, I would say we got our 501c3 in 2019, but the work began in 2015, March of 2015. So we call it a, a Micronesian one-stop center. Yeah, our goal this year, um, uh, compared to prior years, because you know, in order to build up programs, you have to build infrastructure too. Just like building up a government, right, or an island to be able to, uh, for people to access service. So I feel like we have built up a one-stop center. Now we have a youth empowerment center. What we need is we need staff, we need um, programs to be, you know, like to be run and resources for this um, one-stop center for the youths and for our whole population.